Hi, welcome to the Art of Crafting by Asma and today we'll be learning an easy way of decoupage on flat surfaces using a clothes iron. This way you'll get perfect finish and less wrinkles. Let's get started. You need any flat surface, either wooden paper or metal surface. You need decoupage glue. I am using glossy finish. Then you need white gesso paint. This is used as a primer, a paintbrush of course. Then you need a paper napkin of your choice to cover the surface. Then you need a baking paper. This is used at a later stage along with the iron. It helps to protect it from heat and you need a sponge brush for the glue. So firstly I will be applying a layer of gesso paint on my surface and using an MDF board. Now I have completed the surface with the primer. I have applied one layer. Next I will be applying a thick layer of decoupage glue. One layer is enough. But it should be thick and make sure to cover end to end. Do not leave any space. Now as you see it's all dried and it looks very glossy. This is a glossy finish by the way. Next I'm taking my paper napkin and just placing it to check the design. And I'm going to peel the layers of the napkin. It depends on your napkin. You could have one or two layers. And now placing the baking sheet over the area where I'll be ironing it, set your iron level to medium and then start ironing. The whole process takes about 2 to 3 minutes. You can go over the same area multiple times to make sure everything is stuck and just try to pull the napkin and check whether it's stuck or not from the edges. If it's not stuck you can just go back and iron again. Now everything is stuck, I'm just going over one last time and now it's so smooth to touch, there are no wrinkles and it was really easy and taking a file, I will be filing away the edges. This will ensure that uh, it's very smoothly taken off. All edges are gone and finally I'm going to be using the same decoupage glue as a top coat. This is a sealer and a finisher so you have to use it even as a sealer towards the end. Now it depends on you, you could use one or two layers of the glue. So for this project I just applied a single layer. Now everything is dried, everything is smoothened out. Even if you find any wrinkles, you can still go over that area with the iron, but usually you will not find any wrinkles. I hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching.